and I'll show you how to assemble all this. Now what you do is you want to take the center beam and it's got two dovetails on it on the left and on the right and you grab the legs and those have a dovetail cut into them as well. So you just made up the right and the left it just slides right in. That's kept loose for a reason because wood expands and contracts. So and you grab the other side and just kind of slide it right in. Now, grab the printer stand and you'll see that there's a dovetail here on the cabinet and two channels to kind of guide it in. And then on each leg there's a dovetail on that. Sometimes it's good to have a little extra help on this one, but one person can't assemble it without much trouble. You just kind of slide it right on down so that the two pieces slide in together. It's kind of important that you can kind of grab onto it and push it together. And that's essentially how that works. Pretty easy. Again, if you have two people, then you can each guide it down and it'll slide in pretty nice. But again, this isn't super tight because being what it will get messed up. Uh, you know, it can change a lot due to humidity and heat. Now, this is where we use the magic kickstand. Magic kickstand is goes right on top of here. And that will help you align the upper cabinet with the lower cabinet. Now, the upper cabinet has... Uh, a secret panel here, which you slide right on up. It exposes all the electronics. You need to take the front off for when you um, for when you uh, install the cabinet. And what you do is grab onto this. The cabinet only weighs 25 pounds, so it's not super. And you kind of slide it in. If you can see right here, that's not aligned. So Perfect. Kind of get it in the center. And then believe it or not, you can just kind of peer right through there. And if you see the other side, you know that everything's aligned pretty well. I can see daylight right through there. You grab these bolts. Now you want the washer and the wing nut to be on the inside. This should just pop right on in. And I'll slide through to the front of the cabinet. You can see it right there. And then I should have had this unscrewed. And I'll slide around right through. Well, a little bit of wiggling to get it through. And it pops in there. Then you put the washer and the wing nut. And some one important thing is to not really tighten it up yet because you need to be able to get that kickstand out. If you tighten it up too much, you'll never get the kickstand out. So, now, I can't go anywhere. It's not going to fall or anything like that. You can lift up on the cabinet just a little bit. And then the kickstand should slide right back out. Now, this can tilt. That way the operator can, you know, tilt it whichever way they need to, but you need to tighten up the wing nuts on the inside. It's important when you assemble it to tighten up the wing nuts, not unscrew these, but to tighten or unscrew these on the inside because these knobs can come off. They're not welded on there or anything. Now, as far as the inside is concerned, well, why don't we talk about the electronics and setup in the next video?